Hey everyone, it is Nick A30 here, and today we're going to be showing you guys the best drop spot in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3. I got a bunch of tips. I've been playing this season non-stop, and I've learned quite a bit on rotations, where to land, how to get the best loot after you land. And so we're going to dive into it. You're actually going to land right there, and it's set up with a bunch of different loot, which we'll get into. The reason you'd want to land right here is because you have these little containers, and you could potentially get Thermal Fish, which is gold rarity, which is good for opening the vault that we're going to rotate into after everybody dies down and fights off each other. So here you go, right here. And obviously, right now, there is a little glitch going on where you don't need any loot to get in the vault. But let's say this is past. Having a thermal fish will allow you to have something gold instead of trading in, like, a good shotgun or something. And you can go right in. But anyway, so we have a bunch of loot here. As you can see, we're contested. I just heard someone, so I'm going to try to pop some heals as quickly as I can. And we'll fight this guy. Pop a big. What the heck? He's just staying. He's just staying on that zip line. I've never seen that before. Wait, what was that? Okay, I'm confused. Okay, so one of the main reasons why we want to land here is it's really good to set yourself up for success. So there's a little door right here that will open if you guess which one of these statues will open a door. This one did. You 50-50 it. The other one have an infinite rift, right? Like if I use this, this is what happens. And you can run away if there's multiple people at your drop. You have a second chance. You can go straight to the vault, which is down there where we're going to go right now. But yeah, you have all the options in the world with this spawn, which makes it so good. Let's go back down. But it could be on that side too. So it's just a random fluke. And we got lucky first try. But that's all you have to do to open it. I'm going to skip on that DMR. Not a fan of it in build mode. And we're going to rotate down here now. Uh, there's also more chests and all that stuff, but we're not going to need it. Also a chest here if you just build like that and you whack this. Boom. We get it. And as you can see... Um, one of the main reasons why I like this drop saw is there's not a lot of people and you have a lot of loot. You have a bounty right here, which you can get gold with or any other challenge you want to do. And then over here, there's an NPC where if you don't get a good shotgun, you can actually purchase the purple havoc pump. And then you have mud. You're going to have a dirt bike up there. There's even more slurp plants, the new addition to this season ahead. So let's get this. We're going to grab the flapjack, one of the best ARs, and we're going to head on over in this direction. And as we're doing this, we get mud. Again, we get these plants, and we're working our way to the vault. So the plants are there. You just pick X them. They give you 25 each, and they regenerate. So just sit there, and you can get full health no matter how long. We rotate here, right? And we don't even need this dirt bike. We can actually just, boom, sidekick this. Someone's there. We want to fight them. And we're going to go over here. So this is the vault, guys, which, again, right here, you have to give them uh, a blue rarity item. So you just equip it, blue or higher, and then... You can give it to him and it opens. But you don't actually need to do that. So once you actually go through that door, you could fall down. And if you fall down, you have to come all the way around this way. But this is the way to get in, too. It's not just an exit. So I'll show you guys. So I usually, like, build, like, these as I'm going. So it just, like, prevents people from coming. And you don't even have to break this. You just sleep, sneak on through right here. And then... What you want to do for this puzzle, which we'll talk about once we go up there, is you have to memorize this pattern. So as you see, no flame, no flame flame there and no flame there so when we get to the area up above right there we're gonna extinguish this this and this to match that that one's lit so we don't touch it once we get over there also we want to break this or you can just if you're in zero build just jump up here so if you want to bypass the whole giving the loot process in zero build you can throw a porta bunker and you can jump up you can also have a raptor and if you jump right here with the raptor then jump here and then you double jump once you get off there you can actually go up there but anyway we're in build mode so let's just build and uh, I'm going to do this. And again, we bypass that door by coming in that shortcut way. And again, we're going to bypass this gold loot. However, again, this is where the thermal fish comes into play. We can do that or we can just straight up break this and we don't have to give them any loot. But that could be patched by the time. And then I like to block it off. That could be patched by the time we do this video, you know, and I built there. And even when I come here, I like to build this and then that. Put a little cone on top. And again, remember how we memorized the pattern, guys? So that flame was ignited, so we're gonna disignite or extinguish this. We're gonna extinguish this, and we're gonna extinguish this. And it should open, boom, just like that. And again, you can build again, do a little ramp. And I actually like, I'll show you guys a little cool secret. So let's say we don't touch any of this. I like to do, I'll do a cone edit and then a flat, and I can just break or break, break or break, break or break. And you see, the reason why you wanna do that, it gets all the loot in one place. Like for example, you see how this is right here? Well, this is going to slide down like that right there. So it's all the loot in one place. You can see it all. And honestly, I could have done it way quicker. But the whole point is just it can be pretty efficient. And we have that already. So we'll grab all this. I'll grab that. And I'll rock this for now. I want to show you guys a couple strats and where we're going to rotate to. 
Um, I'm actually gonna take two flapjack rifles, actually three, <laughs> and you're gonna see why. For now, anyway. For now. It's really good. Very, very good. Okay, now we're gonna rotate out. Again, only one exit. We have to go the exact same way we came, so we know that if any of this is broken, that we've been exposed. I don't hear any, I hear shooting outside, you hear that. And we're gonna go out this way. It'll automatically open. Let's actually get some fight action, and I'll show you where we can rotate after this. Because the flapjack is so good this season, guys, especially in build mode, we're gonna rotate over there. You see where that AI is? He will take you to the vault that's just outside the Citadel. It's a new one this season. But before we do that, let's just kill this guy real quick. The kick on this weapon is pretty crazy, eh? And now I'm gonna swap weapons, because why not? Where did he go? There it is. Okay. That took a lot longer than I thought. So we're gonna come up this zip line. We're leaving the vault right here. And we're going up this zip line. And we're gonna go to that AI, which I think someone already took him. No, they didn't. We'd see on the map, no head right there. It would just be a key. And when someone picks it up, it'd be red. And you could see him moving in real time. Best perks right now. I'm gonna show you guys the best one with this loadout. I'm gonna keep re-rolling until I get this perk. This one, reckless rifle reload. Assault rifles reload significantly faster on an empty mag. So as you can see, we've got three ARs and you kind of can see why. We're gonna be able to put constant pressure on enemies, especially when we get this mythic. And so get up close, get up in their face and take out these guys first. They have the SMGs. This one has an AR, which isn't good. So these guys will do most of the damage, you know? So just keep on switching to your shotgun AR, shotgun AR. And obviously don't get beamed like that. See, they're very random. Like I might die here. No. Before I even go anywhere, I'm just gonna straight up heal. That was not right. I did not expect that. Oh, I hear someone. Oh, that's not good. Okay, to check if you're reloaded while you're healing, boom, that is 31 in the cliff. This one has 35, okay. If you ever need to do that. Wow, there is a lot of people that wanna come for this vault. Normally there's none, so. That's AI. I can just constant pressure, guys. Again, when you get high ground, this is the beautiful thing about this. You have two ARs that shred through builds. This AR is one that just really destroys. And we have an empty mag, so quick reload. Watch. Constant pressure. He's trying to break through. I'm going to replace since I see him going through there. He's trying to cut me off from the vault. We'll just beat him. We don't want to get trapped down here, actually, so I need to actually hold this ground. I don't want to get to a point because you can build here and you can build here, which I like to do that. But I'm gonna go up, because again, I don't want to get trapped in a point where I can't build. See, like this. I think that was him. Okay. Boom, we got another one out to the collection. Let's go down really quickly. Really quickly. I want to grab this. Boom, boom, boom. And we should be good. We should be good. I'm gonna not be stingy with it. Don't ever be stingy with your heels, guys. I'm gonna pop this the moment I can. I did not expect it to be this sweaty. He's trying to go for the leftover loot. Full piece? I'm about to. Okay, lots of pressure here. Whoa, didn't build. No. Yes. Oh my god, it didn't build. Don't ever be stingy. There's someone else coming. I've got a lot of ARs, as you can see, and this is the point of this loadout. I need to get on top with this loadout, and I need to just put pressure from above. I need to go back down. Whoa. Jeez. Good strat if someone's above you. Build a bunch of flats, guys. And then I would go for the jump shot. Yeah, they can't anticipate that. Full box. No. I gotta stay my I gotta hold my ground here. I gotta, because I don't have a lot of mass. I put a ramp there. He'll chase. He's giving up. He's giving up. So another reason why you'd want to come here, guys, is because you can hire this NPC. This NPC will mark enemies through builds anywhere in your vicinity. So also you have hollow chest there. So the point is there's a bunch of loot, a bunch of gear to get you all set up for the win. And at this point, we're going to go to the island, actually, and go up top. There's someone sniping. Oh, you go up there, you're dead, bro. 
Boom. Just like that, guys. We want to just make sure we don't even capture the point. We don't need it. Right? All you get is a mythic drum from it and then the... The slurp juices, which we already have. I knew I could 50-50 that because there's no way you can one pump. The, the one pump shotguns are gone this season, so... The fact that I did more damage, I was ready. So again, uh, let's see what he has. Let's just spread the loot out. Um, okay. If you interact too much, sometimes you can't pick stuff up. You have to wait a little bit. It's to prevent people from juggling stuff. I don't know if you guys remember that, but people would juggle stuff from the storm where they'd be constantly spamming the interact button. They made that limited. Anyway, uh, that's, I don't think anybody cares. Does anybody care? Put it down below. I'm gonna hit a rift. There's always rifts that spawn underneath the island. Let's go down on the zip line and just spot them. It's usually on the outer perimeter of this like island right there. If you guys didn't know, if you walk into them, they heal you. And then if you shoot them, it'll turn into a shockwave grenade. So you just sprint and jump and you'll end up going really far. A lot farther than right what I just did. Oh, also, I wanna show you guys something crazy this season. So, Let's, we, we can still do it actually, and it's part of our drop spot. Remember I showed you guys when we were going to the vault? Okay, and we have vines to stay on top. It's not a bad idea to always be on top, and I mean, that's the theme, I guess, right? And you can just like scout out. Oh, dang. See, that guy knows what's up. But I want to show you guys the uh, slide glitch. Oh, wait, watch this. You guys ready? Oh, that's bad. That's bad. I'm still healing though. Whoa, I'm getting shot from behind. Gotta pop another. I gotta make something happen here because I gotta get his heals. I, I don't have any more heals. Where is he? Oh, I was just about to capture that. You're dead, brother. Watch this. Reset. Spray. Oh, crap. So what you want to do there is you catch him off guard with a little... Oh, whoa. I thought that was an enemy. So you do a reset, reset, it gets weak, and then you just spray through. This weapon, it breaks builds instantly. Like, look. One, two, three, four. That's it. Four shots. You can just keep on spraying, and you do a bunch of damage. It's crazy. It's a good strap. Okay. I mean, we have an extra loadout slot now, guys. So we might as well just get the Cybertron cannon. I don't recommend not taking any heals, but for the sake of showcasing our beauty, we're going to do it right now. We'll do this. Oh, I didn't get to show you guys the slide in the mud. There's maybe more mud right there, so let's go over there. It's scary being in the trees because you can't build, so try to get out there as soon as possible. Try to get down as quickly as you can. We're going to hit this, and I'm going to go in that mud actually right there. That was make you go faster. Love that. Such a nice season. So all you want to do, go in the mud, like do a little slide, and then when, you're, when you press sprint, and then you just spam your crouch over and over, spam your slide, you can just get like some insane momentum. But you have to have sprint to do this, obviously. But as you see, we're picking up some crazy speed. And you want to go straight the whole time. And again, with this season, guys, because there's no mobility, I mean, you really got to be careful. Oh, wow. You really got to be careful of zone. We're in zone right now, so what's the best play right now? Probably get to the high ground, get to the ice, and just beam people as they rotate in. You really don't want to be stuck on edge too long because people are very unaware this season, and they will fight you no matter what. And a lot of people don't know when the... They recently changed the storm circles, and a lot of people don't know when the five tick is. And that's a hard one to get out if you don't have a slurp. Hard one to get out of. So we're just going to chill right here and just beam these guys. Let's go on this side. Boom, we'll build our one by one. Let's go up one more. And because I'm the highest point, I don't need to put a cone above me. There's nothing that's higher right now. Maybe over there, but we can just box that off. He's gliding. Oh, peace. Dad, he just walked into that. That was pretty clean, eh? Oh, he's shooting me out. So that's something you got to be wary of. Because, um, you know, there's no mobility. What we're going to do is we're just going to go up again. I think we cleared out all the good players. And we don't have to... Let's just go up one more. Boom. I'll do a cone so that way you can always edit it. You never, guys... A little pro tip that a lot of people don't do is they always peek from this from the top. Hey, people always peek from the top. When you're peeking from the top, look how many people have eyes on you. Right? Whereas if you do something like this, like a window edit, you just have your line of sight that can shoot you. Which, they can damage me, of course. Heck, they could even snipe me. But when you do this, yeah, they can snipe me, and then I can also get third party by, like, 15 other people. So, ideally, you do a cone so that you can make these, like, right side peaks and everything. But now we're just gonna wait. I mean... Oh, wow, that guy... I think that's an NPC. Again, I'm not gonna peek from the top. I'm gonna do something like this. Boom, 180. That's a beam and a half. And we haven't really got to start spraying anyone. Maybe we will in the end game. But I'll show you how good it is when you're just putting constant and uh, like constant pressure. That that's now in. I gotta start rotating early. So let's go down this waterfall. Edit waterfall. We'll go on the vine. 
If I can get to that island, let me mark. Always mark to see if something's in zone or not. And then you look at your mini map, which it is. So if we can be the first ones there, I mean, we're in really good hands. So let's use this to avoid fall damage. And then we'll go down. Oh, he might be coming up here. Ready? You heard that? Was that right there? Remember, I can't build here. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, the good thing about this weapon is it breaks structures really quickly, including trees. Remember, I have three, even though I can't build here, right? I'm just gonna put some constant pressure and I have the quick reload as well if I need to. But again, uh, this is a mistake. See, this is a mistake. I'm gonna try to get this. I'm going down. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Again, that's a perfect example of why you don't want to be in those trees. And now I have no heals and he's pressuring me. There's a rift there. Let me go box it up if I need to. I'm not gonna use this because it takes too long to use, guys. If I can find those plants, I don't know where they're at yet. My amp I'll wait till my NPC marks, which I think he just did. He just went up above, so we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's use some mud. We'll do the thing. And we're gonna be trying to look for those blue plants that we found at our drop spot. I think there is some up here, actually. I've, I've been here before. I think... Uh, they're down down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just pickaxe it or shoot it. You can run the moment you pickaxe it, by the way. It heals right away. Oh, he shot the flies. I don't know why he would do that. So they regenerate every 15 or 10 seconds. Boom. Oh, the flies got him. So let's get going. Zone's closing in right now. We're gonna go to these rifts up here. There's the island, so that means there's guaranteed rifts. I'm gonna go a little bit in storm for this. It's okay. We will get it back because the uh, ice is going to be in zone. So I want to get that elevation and it's worth it. It's, see how it's just starting to go in zone and this guy's actually really smart. He already beat me to it, but I can slide kick him off. I have vines if I need to disengage if I mess this up, but I'm going to go for a pump here. He blocked it. Very smart, man. Full piece. Maybe not. Full piece now. I almost died. I Listen, guys, I admit that. Last guy. And I'm really low health. Holy. Okay, so he's getting ahead of zone. That's my NPC. If my NPC could mark him, he hasn't really done his job lately. I see you, brother. He's trying to do something. I'm gonna go for a little surprise attack. Break the bills. Pressure, pressure, pressure. We don't even need to be above. We're gonna use the fact that we don't have to reload to just constantly build and get closer and closer while putting constant pressure, you know? See? We just put constant pressure now without having to reload and make him think he's gonna wanna heal. That's the first thing people wanna do. A good player would shoot back right now, but we're just gonna constantly spray. And we're gonna get ahead, which is fine. And then we're gonna put some more pressure again because we don't have to stop and reload, right? He's building up, he's not aware. He's gonna fall the fall damage. We put that constant pressure. I'm gonna swap to my other one now if I needed to, but I don't. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys enjoyed the drop spot and you want more tips, I do these every single season, so make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and if you want to support me with the battle pass, code NICK830, please and thank you. Keep on being awesome, A-Team, and I will see you all in the next one. Hey!